Hey guys, my voice is slowly coming back. I actually have to force it. I have to force myself to speak louder, so I have to push more air through my uh, my larynx, I guess it's called. In fact, when you whisper, you're actually damaging your vocal cords. You're straining them more than if you just talk normally. So when you lose your voice, your instinct is to whisper, which is actually, interestingly enough, the opposite thing you should do. Where's my camera? There it is. Yeah, very quick. Studio Web 4 is, uh, we're just starting to architect that. And I'm sitting down with two uh, developers. We're going to be designing the new database. And the database is going to be designed, first of all, based on the current Studio Web 3 structure. Because Studio Web 3 is pretty much a bug free app now, it works really good. But we're updating, we're rewriting from scratch rather because I want to take advantage of uh, new frameworks and uh, of course a six, seven year old code base, Studio Web is six, seven year old now. You know, it's a little long in the tooth. Several developers have worked on it of course and so it's a little messy and it's time to once in a while to rebuild. Anyway, so in we're going to be designing the database this weekend, at least the first draft. And the first draft is, is going to, um, of the new database for Studio Web 4, is going to take into account some of the things that we noticed, some of the flaws with the database in Studio Web 3 in terms of its architecture. So we're going to, we're going to mitigate for that, or, may, or in other words, we're going to dis make changes to the database structure in Studio Web 4 to uh, fix a couple little inefficiencies that we saw in Studio Web 3 which of course those inefficiencies are totally my fault for not paying close attention when the um, when the original app was uh, built. Another thing we're going to do is we're going to be mindful of the new features that I see uh, coming down uh, the line with regards to Studio Web. So the database is going, to, is going to be designed mindful of those new features so that uh, it's efficient. That said, with the rewrite, we're first going to rewrite the app, replicating all the f features that it currently has, and lock that down before we actually add any new features. That's a, that's a way to chunk the work. Anyway, that's it. These vlogs, I'm going to try to keep them pretty short, but uh, we'll see what happens. And um, that's all.